Okay, so I'm going to show you the setup that I've got for doing some basic testing of devices. This isn't connected to the internet at all. Uh, so what I've got is a, a USB Type-C connection to a hub that's connected to Ethernet and goes into this wireless access point, Linksys. Uh, I'm basically just using it as a switch just now to be able to connect all the other devices. I've also flashed OpenWRT onto the Linksys device to make it into a, almost like a Linux server. So I've got a Raspberry Pi here running Kali and it's also got an RF uh, unit fitted so that it can communicate with my electrical plug socket here which is connected to this. Then I've got a Philips Hue. Uh, this is the light here. It doesn't need any connection and we should be able to remotely control it from here. I just power it up just now, just to charge the battery. And then we've got a camera here. I've also got some other things like a Nupa Tooth One, Flipper, and a Ring doorbell here. But I'll show you a few demos uh, to set this up. So the first thing is that I just need to make sure that I'm connected to my access point. That's 100 here. This is 101, this is 15, this is 10 and so on. So uh, I'll just get logged into my access point. There we go. Okay, that's there. And that's me connected. So this is what WOpenRT looks like. If you've not seen it, uh, it just looks like a standard uh, Linux build. So I'll disconnect and you can also access it from the, the browser. So you see here, I'll get logged in, and then all I've done is set up DHCP to make sure that all these devices connect with static IP addresses. So I've registered each of their MAC addresses and then they'll get static addresses automatically. Uh, so this is the Raspberry Pi here, and this is the Philips, uh, hub here, this is the camera, and this is my machine here, uh, onto this here, this network. Okay, so we should be set up, so what I'll do now is I'll connect into the Raspberry Pi, and we'll just get started. Okay, just make sure it's alive, and it is, so then I'll get connected in. And there we are. So this is standard Linux, Linux Kali build. And I flashed it on to the Raspberry Pi. So we'll just have a look at this. Okay, so the first thing we'll, ha we'll have a look at is the, the camera. So the camera is at uh, 192.168.10. Okay. So often the first thing we would do is to be able to run Nmap to see the services that were enabled. Okay, so let's see what we get. And we get 23 Telnet and 80 HTTP. Not very good because these ports are exposed, especially the Telnet port. So one thing we can do is to be able to assess the security of the device by run, running a number of usernames and passwords. What should happen is that we should get locked out after we try uh, a certain amount. But we'll just go ahead and we'll just run Hydra. So this is slowed down greatly. It would run much faster than this, but we'll just uh, run it here to see what we get. Okay, so this will go through each of these usernames and passwords and see if any of these actually fit. Obviously, we would do that to be able to assess the security of the, the device. Okay, so it's just trying one or two here. Okay, and it's found it root in one, two, three, four, five, six. For the other session that we had, we had HTTP, so we can do that. And let's see if we can discover it. Okay, so it just takes a little while to just start up there, but it keeps trying and I'll try a different one. 
and eventually it's there. Okay, so we can see there it's discovered already. So from there we can actually just log into the into the camera. Dot ten. Okay, that's it logs in. If we needed a password, it would be there. And there we go. It's a bit high up there. Okay. And there we go. That's fine. We can have some infrared if we need to. We can flip it, and and so on. Okay, we can move the camera that way too. Okay, so it's quite worrying that we have a camera which uh, can be easily compromised. So now let's look at our Hue Hub. So for this one, we have our wireless light here that we can change the color from the hub. So in this case, we've got um, Python script. And, and basically it's an API call. We have almost like a web call to it and we pass it what's called the JSON string and that will make the light go on or off. Okay, so off is false, so it should go on. And then off is true, so it should go off and and the light will, will stop there. Uh, it's at 0 0.15, so we'll give it a little try. We'll just see if our hub is alive. And it is, okay, so we'll now go ahead and we'll run, we'll run our Python program. Fingers crossed. We should see something happening in a little minute. And we can see here that the light is going on and off with our API calls into there. Okay, we'll just stop it when it's on there. Like that, so we can easily change our colors that we want. So for the saturation, the brightness, and the hue. So let's try and change the hue a little bit. Let's see if we change that to 64 or 66. Give it another try. Okay, and you should find that the hue is now uh, different from there. Okay, so you can see the power of uh, the Raspberry Pi being able to communicate with the hue there. And then for us to be able to control with our, our script. So now let's look at the RF uh, component here. So in this case, uh, we've got uh, our GPIO and it sets certain pins on the little card in there to be able to control the, the, the RF unit, to be able to control the, the, the plug socket. Okay, so all ones on these pins puts the socket off, on and one one and a zero here puts it off. So we'll give it a try. And that's off and that's on okay so you can see remotely we were able to control from here to here and turn this on and then we can turn it off again from there to there off and the plug socket is here and then turn it back on again Okay, so you can see the power. There's a little RF unit in here to be able to control this plug socket and then control that there. Okay, so that's been uh, a basic demonstration of some simple uh, testing of devices.